today I'm going to show you how to hand sew the elbow patches on. As I said in the previous video about the stick on patches, you can sew them on by hand, but the gluey residue tends to make the needle drag. So I think they are better sewn on by machine. I think they're all better sewn on by machine because they're stronger and you get the stretch right. But some people want to sew them on by hand. Now the ones that are bought in the shop come with a backing on and a stitched edge, which you can actually see perhaps on this. Now the ones that I'm going to use for the demonstration so that you can see my hands sewing better, I haven't use the ones with the line of stitching around. So these have just got, they've got the interfacing on the back that we use, that's black, but with some of them have white on, to just give the cashmere a bit of body, but it doesn't alter the stretch. You've still got the stretch, which is what you want. And the most of it is that way you need the movement or else your stitches will pull into the sleeve and make holes. I have just quite simply at the moment, I pinned this on and then I tapped it. So I just tacked it on and I have actually caught, I can feel that I have caught a thread onto the underneath part of the sleeve. And there is a way of avoiding that, which I will show you. So I've caught the sleeve, which is very easy to do actually. And a way of avoiding that when you're actually tacking it on or sewing it by hand, it depends how you hold the thing, is if you put a piece of card down the sleeve like that when you're tacking it on, and then you can tack it on and you're not going to go through to the underneath because it's loose. So that's just a tip really. If you were sewing these patches on by machine, these different ones that are not stick on, you would again turn the sleeve wrong side out and get in to sew them from there. And you do them, do them from inside. But if you're going to sew them by hand, then you do it from the outside. Now the thing with the hand stitching is, there are several stitches you can use, I'll just do two I think for today, is not to pull it too tight. Now with these, because you have got that line of stitching, if you bought your patches from the shop, you have got an edge that's overcast. So you can quite simply anchor in, and I'm using a contrast again, so you could quite simply anchor in and just do a running stitch, not such a tiny running stitch, but just do a running stitch sort of on the border where the line of machine stitches in have overcast the patch. And that will work and, and actually can look quite neat. But do not get it tight. Make sure that you stretch this as you go so you're not doing it like that and getting it all crinkled. It must have room to stretch because you use your arms a lot and you're waving them up and down and side to side and bending them and so you must have the stretch. So that, done in the same colour as your patch, just inside the borderline of that border stitching, can look very neat. Now the other way of doing it is to do like a slip stitch. Ignore that bit, I've just crossed over to show it. So go under the two and come up right at the edge and then go in opposite at the same and then come up through both and go in and come up through both. And then you will get like a ladder stitch round the side of the, of the patch. I can't stress how important it is not to pull it tight. Keep, keep that movement there. That one I've just not done quite as, I'm going to take that little bit out. It does sink into the fabric. So you sometimes have to take a bigger stitch than you actually think you need to take to get the right effect. It's the same with the width of the zigzag on the machine. Whereas a zigzag on a cotton fabric of three would look quite distinctive, it can sink in a knitted fabric. So you might need to go to four or even 4.5. Again, why you need to practice. That's your, the ladder stitch which is really just a slip stitch, but comes out looking like a ladder stitch. So then hopefully you will still have, your inside will look, that's the running stitch of the inside. And this is, that's our ladder stitch on the inside. So three ways of doing it, two by hand. You could also do a zigzag by hand, but you can see that you've still got that stretch, still got that movement for the elbow and the sleeve to move without distorting anything. That's the important bit. Thank you. 